Yes, I know, I still haven't reviewed this phone, but I promise that's gonna come. Of course, get subscribed if you aren't already, so you don't miss that. In the meantime, I also noticed that a lot of people were really interested in what's on my OnePlus 8 Pro last year, so I think that's a good opportunity to do the same thing with the OnePlus 9 Pro this year. So without further ado, this is what's on my OnePlus 9 Pro and how you can get the same setup on your own phone. So before showing you how you can get this on your own phone, let's quickly go into what is actually on here. Of course, this is Nova Launcher, which I'm still using because I switch phones a lot, and that just means that I can use the backup functionality of Nova Launcher and don't have to recreate this setup from scratch every time that I switch phones. We're also going to use this backup functionality in the tutorial shortly. To the left of the home screen, I have the Google feed, pretty standard affair, and that's enabled by the Nova Google Companion. Up here, I have a widget, which is from the hook pack for KWGT, which is basically the replacement for Super Widget, which was unfortunately pulled from the Play Store. So this is a really nice way to get some custom skin packs for a widget framework, and that way really customize your phone to the fullest. Down below, I have a three by six icon grid of apps. And of course, I have no dock or anything like that on my home screen. Swiping up gets me to the app drawer, so I don't need an icon for that. On my home screen, I have the phone app here on the left. Then I have my finance and security folder, Curve is a really nice app that allows you to have a credit card that combines all of your other credit cards into one. I also made a video on that, which you can check out in the cards. And apart from that, I just have LastPass for my password management and then some apps for investing and all of this stuff. Next to that, I have Notion. I switched to Notion now full-time for my note-taking needs and I can just really recommend it to you. It's a really great app and we're also going to use that for the tutorial shortly. Then Google Maps, Workplace, Gmail, YouTube, and actually if you swipe up on the YouTube app, you get to YouTube Studio. This is pretty nice. And also is enabled on some other apps here, for example, for workplace chat on the workplace icon. Then I also have Google Photos, Twitter, the camera app, WhatsApp settings. I have the Chrome browser. Then I have the Play Store, Google Drive. And if you swipe up on that, you also get to Google Docs. I have my media folder down here with podcasts and YouTube music. I do listen to podcasts a lot while running and I only use YouTube music because I don't really listen to music that much. So I just use it because it's included with my YouTube premium subscription and I don't have Spotify or something like that. Then here I have my running app and down in the right corner, I have all of my mobility apps to get around. But yeah, that is basically everything that's on my home screen already. As you can see, it's not really that interesting in terms of most of the apps that are on here. It's mostly a pretty standard affair, but I think that the actual layout is quite interesting. So let's get into how you can recreate that on your own phone. Okay, so let's start. I already prepared a Notion note with all of the links that you are also going to find down in the video description just to make things a little bit easier for myself. And of course, you can also follow along with this by just using the links below the video. First of all, we're going to install Nova Launcher, and that just allows us to get the whole setup going. Then we are going to go back and we are going to install the icon pack. Now you don't necessarily need this icon pack, which is actually paid, it's about $2, but if you just apply the backup, as I'm going to show you in a bit, then you don't necessarily need to buy this icon pack in order to get the icons on your home screen. And you also don't necessarily need Nova Launcher Prime. I have it, but you don't need it for this setup. Then after that, we're going to install the Backdrops app for the wallpaper. And after that, we can go back and also install KWGT for the widgets. And after this, what you also need is the hook pack in order to get the widget into KWGT which is basically just a framework in order to get different skins of widgets on your phone. After we did all of this, we're going to go into the settings on our phone and we're going to change the home app to Nova Launcher. So we're going to go into apps and then default apps and select Nova Launcher as the home app. You can just select use defaults. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Nova settings we're going to go in to home screen and we're going to disable the dock. That's the first thing that we're going to do. 
and the home screen grid, we're going to change that to a five by nine grid. After that, we can go back home, we can remove this widget and we can also remove this folder. And now what we can do is we can start by applying the widget. For that, we're going to go down here to widgets and then we're going to go all the way down to KWGT. You're going to want to have the four by two widget, which is this one. Put that on the home screen. Then you can click on this, just accept all of the terms. And then you can go here to the hook pack. And then for the widget that we're going to use, you need to scroll down quite a lot. But of course, there are also a bunch of other widgets that you can use if you want something else, if you want a different look. This is the one that we're going to use. I'm just going to click on that, ignore all of the warnings. And then if we go back home, we have this widget on our home screen. We can move that up here. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get left the app icons on the home screen. If you really want the same setup as me without an app drawer icon, then you need to go into here into gestures and select the app drawer for the swipe up gesture because otherwise you're not going to get back to your app drawer. And then if you want to put any apps on your home screen, you can just put them here, tap on them and edit. And then you can select the icon of that app. And of course, we now also need to disable the labels. For that, we're just going to go into the home screen settings, click on icon layout and then disable the label here. And now you just need to add all of your other apps to your home screen in the same way if you want to get your own custom setup or recreate this from scratch. But of course, there's also an easier way, which is just going to the link in the video description, or in my case, going to this note and then clicking on the Nova backup that is linked, hit on download, hit open. And then when you apply this backup and just hit OK, then you already have your home screen looking the same way. You just need to get this widget set up back to the way it was. So this is of course way easier than doing all of it from scratch, but I still wanted to show you how that's done. And as I mentioned before, this way you can also get all of these icons, at least the ones on the home screen, without having to buy the icon pack. Now the two last steps that we need to do is we will go into backdrops and then we're going to select the wallpaper. I already have it in my favorites, so I'm just going to sign into my account here. But if you want this wallpaper, then you can just search for Rainbow Road up here in the search tab in the app. And we're just going to set this as our wallpaper, select both, and that is set. Now the last thing is the Google feed to the left of the home screen. Of course, you can get that from the video description. I'm just going to go back to my note and I'm going to download this from APK Mirror because there's no way to get this from the Play Store. Hit download down here, open that, install. You might need to grant permissions in order to install apps from Chrome. And then we can hit OK here. And with that, we also have the Google feed to the left. Now, if you want to get rid of this notification up here from custom widget from the KWGT, you can just turn off notifications for this app, hit apply, and then that's gone. But that is all. I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, you know what buttons to press. And don't forget to press that follow button on Twitter. I'm Brian, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.